I am quickly going to show you how you can create a lesson in Google Classroom so that you can share it with your students. But then also I want to show you how students will go in. If we are to have an e-learning day, you have to give them the opportunity to go in before they go home to download that lesson and any content that they may need. So from the teacher point of view, you're going to go into your classroom. You're going to click Create Assignment. Okay, so if we go into classwork, click on create, and then click on assignment. Okay. So you'll want to title it whatever you want it to be. And then from Google Drive, you would need to go and you would need to get your lesson. So anything that is a Google app, like Google Drawing, Google Slides, Google Sheets, those are all going to automatically sync to your students' Chromebooks. And so whether or not they have the internet, they would actually be able to access those files and work on them from home. So I have this e-learning activity that I'm going to add for our mock day. Now down here, this part is important. You want to change it from students can view file to make a copy for each student because students will only be able to access offline those files that they own. And so through Google Classroom, when you make a copy for each student, what you're really doing is giving them a copy and it puts it in their Google Drive so that they have access to it. You can always create a topic if you would like, um, the due date you can put. However, we may not know what day we're actually coming back from the inclement weather day, so I would leave that blank for now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and assign it. And so you would have to do that before your students would be able to go in um, before the e-learning day actually is called. All right, so students would go in and they would click on the assignment and then they would click to open the Google Doc. Now, in order for this to sync, there's one thing your students must do first. And so that's actually going to be in their Google Drive. So not in Google Classroom, but in Google Drive, we want them to click on their settings wheel and go to settings. You come down here to where it says offline. And so we want to make sure that all students have this box checked where they can create, open, and edit their recent Google Docs and Sheets. So if this is not checked, then it will not automatically save the recent documents to their Chromebook and they wouldn't be able to access it from home. So definitely make sure this is checked. And unfortunately, this is not something that we can push down from the admin level. So you need to make sure your students go in and that is from grades three and up and make sure that this little block is checked. All right, so if it is, I'm going to click done. All right, so now there's there's a couple more things you need to do. So all Google apps, sheets, slides, drawings, all of those are going to be available now in this My Files app for your students, even if they don't have the internet because they have opened it recently. But PDFs and video work differently. So if you have video that you want your students to be able to watch, whether they have internet or not, and so there are some different websites where you can download from. SE Discus is a good example of where you might go and find some video footage that you can use. Um, you would have to save that as the teacher in your Google Drive, and then you would have to share the link with your students through Google Drive. So if I, as a student, if I click on this link, and follow it. If I have the internet, I can just go ahead and hit play and watch the video. But to prepare for if I do not have the internet, I need to click this download button. And so that is going to download it to the Chromebook itself, and then it would be available offline. So it's going to save it in downloads once I click the save button. All right, so now I need to go do, as a student, I need to go do the same thing for the speech. And remember, I'm doing all of this before I leave school so that I have the internet at school and I can um, make sure that I have access to this at home, whether I lose the internet or not. All right, so again, I'm going to pull this up. 
but I won't have access to this offline unless I come over here as a student and click the download button. So I'm going to save that in my downloads. So as a student, if I wanted to find those two documents or those two files, I would go to my files, click on downloads or in Google Drive, wherever I save them. And so now I have the dream speech here. I can double click and open that up or I can go find my, the video which is Martin Luther King Jr. And I would have the ability to watch that, even without the internet. So now that I have the video and I have the speech, I can go back to my original document, I can read the prompt, and then come down here as a student, and, oops, and I can start um, typing my response. So, if I have the internet, again, it's going to, all changes are going to save and drive automatically. But if I do not, it's going to let me know that all changes will be saved when I get back um, on the internet, when that connection is made. So to practice with your students turning off the internet to make sure that this works, all you have to do is come down and click on the time and then click on the Wi-Fi picture. And that's going to turn it off. So now, if I type without internet, it's going to say up here that I'm offline, but all changes have been saved offline. So when I'm back on the internet, it's going to sync everything back up. And so see, now that I'm back on the internet, it's saving it and everything is saved in Drive. So as a student, I can turn, push a little turn in button or I can go back here and click the turn in button from my assignment.